It is Wednesday, July 14th, 2021, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Wednesday is going well. It is day 39 of our Purpose Driven Summer Emphasis here at First Congregational Church, and we've been reading the book, The Purpose Driven Life. It was written by Pastor Rick Warren, copyright 2002, Zondervan Publishing. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Live life with a due sense of responsibility, not as those who do not know the meaning of life, but as those who do. Blessed are the balance. They shall outlast everyone. One of the events in the Summer Olympics is the pentathlon. It is composed of five events, pistol shooting, fencing, horseback riding, running, and swimming. The pentathlete's goal is to succeed in all five areas, not just one or two. Your life is a pentathlon of five purposes that you must keep in balance. These purposes are practiced, were practiced by the first Christians in Acts 2. They're explained by Paul in Ephesians 4 and modeled by Jesus in John 17. But they are summarized in the Great Commandment and the Great Commission, both of which were given to us by Jesus. These two statements sum up what this book has been about, God's five purposes for your life. Love God with all your heart. You were planned for God's pleasure. So your purpose is to love God through worship. Second, love your neighbor as yourself. You were shaped for service. So your purpose is to show love for others through ministry. Third, go and make disciples. You were made for a mission. So your purpose is to share God's message through evangelism. Baptize them into. You were formed for God's family. So your purpose is to identify with his church through fellowship. And fifth, teach them to do all things. You were created to become like Christ. So your purpose is to grow to maturity through discipleship. A great commitment to the great commandment and the great commission will make you a great Christian. Keeping these five purposes in balance is not easy. We all tend to overemphasize the purposes we feel passionate about and neglect the others. Churches can do the same things, but we'll get to that in the months to come on our Purpose Driven Summer emphasis. These are four important activities for purpose driven living. If you're serious about staying on track, you will need to develop these habits. Talk it through. The best way to internalize the principles in this book is to discuss them with others. The Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, so people can improve each other. We learn best in community. Our minds are sharpened and our convictions are sharpened through conversation. Second, give yourself a regular spiritual checkup. The best way to balance the five purposes in your life is to evaluate yourself periodically. God places a high value on the habit of self-evaluation. At least five times in scripture, we are told to test and examine our own spiritual health. The Bible says, test yourselves to make sure you are solid in the faith. Don't drift along taking everything for granted. Give yourselves regular checkups, test it out. If you fail the test, do something about it. To maintain your physical health, you need regular checkups with a doctor who can assess your vital signs, your blood pressure, temperature, weight, and so on. For your spiritual health, you need to regularly check the five vital signs of worship, fellowship, growth, ministry, and mission. Jeremiah advised us, let's take a good look at the way we're living and reorder our lives under God. Then write down your progress in a journal. Keep track of it. The best way to reinforce your progress in fulfilling God's purposes for your life is to keep a spiritual journal. This is not a diary of events, but a record of the life lessons you don't want to forget. The Bible says it's crucial that we keep a firm grip on what we've heard so that we don't drift off. We remember 
what we record. Writing helps clarify what God is doing in your life. Thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through your fingertips. The Bible has several examples of God telling people to keep a spiritual journal. It says, at the Lord's direction, Moses kept a written record of their progress. Aren't you glad Moses obeyed God's command to record Israel's spiritual journey? If he'd been lazy, we would be robbed of the powerful life lessons of the book of Exodus. While it is unlikely that your spiritual journal will be as widely read as Moses, yours is still important. The Bible says Moses recorded the stages in your journey. Your life is a journey, and a journey deserves a journal. I hope you will write down the stages of your spiritual journey in living a purpose-driven life. And don't just write down the pleasant things. As David did, record your doubts, your fears, your struggles. Our greatest lessons come out of pain. And the Bible says God keeps a record of our tears. Whenever problems occur, remember that God uses them to fulfill all five purposes in your life. Problems force you to focus on God draw you closer to others in fellowship, build Christ-like character, provide you with a ministry, and give you a testimony. Every problem is purpose-driven. And then pass on what you know to others. If you want to keep growing, the best way to learn more is to pass on what you have already learned. Proverbs tells us, the one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. Those who pass along insights get more from God. Now that you understand the purpose of life, it is your responsibility to carry the message to others. God is calling you to be his messenger. Paul said, now I want you to tell these same things to followers who can be trusted to tell others. In this book, I have passed on to you what others taught me about the purpose of life. Now it's your duty to pass on to others. You probably know hundreds of people who do not know the purpose of life. Share these truths with your children, your friends, your neighbors, and those you work with. If you gave this book to a friend, add your personal note on the dedication page. The more you know, the more God expects you to use that knowledge to help others. And remember, the reason we pass on what we learn is for the glory of God and the growth of his kingdom. Blessed are the balanced. How grateful we are, Father, for this Wednesday, for another day of life, for your presence, for the things that you provide. We thank you, Father, for your spirit, for your word. Bless us, Lord, as we seek to walk in you, and may you find us faithful. May you be pleased with us at the end of this day, and may we serve you well, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo, day 39 of our Purpose Driven Summer Emphasis. We'll finish up the book, The Purpose Driven Life, tomorrow with the 40th reading, and I hope all of this has been a blessing to you. Uh, for now, this is Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.